Elon Musk and Tesla helped to save a huge amount of money, up to $26 million, that is, for Walmart and $30 million for Pride Group Enterprises. These are the two customers with the largest number of orders from Tesla for the semi-electric trucks as of currently. So why is the Tesla Semi able to save such huge expenses? So stay tuned to find out. But before we begin, please show your support by subscribing to our channel and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, without any further delays, let's get started with today's episode. According to Tesla, the electric truck, the semi, could help customers save $200,000 per vehicle. Elon Musk once revealed the economic efficiency of the Tesla semi with this. Now a diesel truck is twice as expensive as a Tesla Semi. We're, we're confident that this is a product that is better in every way from a future standpoint that wins on economics against diesel trucks. The Tesla Semi helps save fuel and operating costs by a lot compared to diesel operated trucks. Because diesel prices tend to increase sharply, especially in recent times, according to some reports, the US average price for diesel is up 75% from a year ago at more than $5.50 a gallon, which I've got to say that has got to be one of the biggest, if not the biggest jump in price in history. Energy industry analysts even say the current spike in diesel prices is historic and is pushing up the cost of all kinds of goods. An increase in the diesel price is hitting truckers. Truckers who used to spend about $10,000 a week on fuel now are spending closer to $20,000 a week. Therefore, truck drivers have to spend quite a lot of money on the fuel for conventional trucks. On the other hand, electric trucks are more fuel efficient because 70 to 90% of the energy from electricity is directly used to move the car. Meanwhile, only approximately 35% of the energy stored in diesel fuel is used to move the truck. The rest is lost as heat. Several experts estimate that a diesel truck requires about 6.32 kilowatt hours of energy from 0.152 gallons of fuel to move one mile at 60 miles per hour, whereas the Tesla Semi is expected to only use two kilowatt hours of electricity to do the same, which helps to save 70% in energy. Tesla's CEO Elon Musk guarantees a charging rate of around 7 cents per kilowatt hour at future mega charger stations. This means truckers will only have to pay 14 cents a mile for fuel, which compared to 44 cents per mile for diesel trucks. Moreover, Tesla also announced that the semi will have operational costs of $1.26 per mile compared to $1.51 for a typical diesel truck. That's nearly 17% in savings. In addition, the costs of repairing and maintaining an electric truck are lower than that of a diesel truck. Yearly spending on those expenses run at $35,676 for a diesel truck. The electric truck would cost less than half at $14,306. Particularly, a diesel truck costs a total of $0.64 cents per mile for fuel and maintenance, compared with $0.37 cents per mile for Tesla. This amounts to operational savings of nearly a half or around 28 cents a mile, beating Elon Musk's estimate of 17% or 25 cents a mile in savings. The large glass area on the Tesla Semi is no ordinary kit. It's what Tesla calls thermonuclear explosion-proof glass, offered as standard. According to the experts, truck glasses are enormous and they break once a year on average. If the glass breaks, drivers cannot use the truck because of apparent safety and visibility concerns, resulting in having to consume a lot of money for mirror replacement and maintenance. Tesla's thermonuclear explosion-proof glass would eliminate these issues. Furthermore, the Tesla Semi will also use a 4680 battery to help optimize the production costs of the Semi truck, making it cheaper than other electric trucks in its class. Tesla's new 4680 battery cell represents a paradigm shift in automotive energy storage. The new cells are far cheaper and can store far more power per unit of volume. They have been redesigned as structural elements of the vehicle. The new 4680 battery cell eliminates the internal tab, instead of integrating the function of the tab into the jelly roll itself, 
resulting in a clean, uniform look to the end of the cell. Tesla's senior vice president, powertrain and energy engineering Drew Buglino said, eliminating the tab on each 4680 cell removes the thermal problem from the equation and allows us to go to the absolute lowest cost form factor and the simplest manufacturing process. Moreover, he added, we can increase the range of our vehicles an additional 20% while also producing a cheaper silicon anode, reportedly about 5% less in dollars per kilowatt hours. Tesla also says that eliminating cobalt from a high nickel cathode improves costs by 15% on a per kilowatt hour basis. So, when will the Tesla Semi officially go into production? Musk confirmed that the Tesla Semi will be produced next year in 2023. Furthermore, some new prototypes have been spotted around Gigafactory Nevada previously, and the CEO of Pepsi even said that he was expecting to get his first few Tesla Semi trucks as soon as possible. Tesla announced the order requirements for Semi on its website. Tesla Semi reservations require an initial $5,000 credit card payment. A $15,000 wire transfer payment is required for the first Tesla Semi, plus a $20,000 wire transfer for each additional Tesla Semi. Wire transfers are due within 10 days. Reservations are not final until the wire transfer payment is received. Shortly after Tesla launched the Semi electric truck in 2017, Pepsi Co. pre-ordered 100 vehicles from Tesla. Meanwhile, Walmart Canada ordered 15 electric trucks from the automaker at that time. Walmart shared that it expanded its Tesla Semi orders to 130 trucks in 2020. Not only that, Pride Group Enterprises, a privately held company with its main business being truck leasing, said that it placed a reservation for 150 Tesla Semi electric trucks. Ultimately, the US Department of Energy today released a study showing that by 2035, electric, medium, and heavy duty trucks will cost the same as or less than diesel trucks. And by 2030, nearly half of electric, medium, and heavy-duty trucks will be cheaper to buy, operate, and maintain than diesel trucks. The study, which was published by the U.S. Department of Energy's National Renewable Energy Laboratory, or NREL, finds that continued improvements to zero-emission vehicle and fuel technologies will enable clean trucks to become cheaper and more readily available over the next decade. Medium and heavy-duty vehicles account for less than 5% of the vehicles on the road, but produce more than 20% of emissions from the transportation sector, which currently accounts for more than one-third of U.S. greenhouse gas emissions. U.S. Secretary of Energy Jennifer Granholm said, The Biden administration's comprehensive approach is working to make clean transportation a reality by reducing exposure to volatile fuel prices, investing in American manufacturing, and creating a national charging network to support more electric vehicles on the road. And with that quote, today's episode has come to an end. We sincerely thank you for watching today's episode and also for your support of our channel, Tesla Car World. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, as well as ring that bell so you won't miss out on the next episode. And also, please leave a comment down below with your thoughts on today's content. We'd love to hear about it. Once again, we thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a good one and safe travels.